what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you a video of how i actually defeated the hispori boss this time if you haven't already watched my previous video i tried to beat the hispori boss and i failed miserably like i almost killed it but it killed me first so i ended that video with me going to the ge and gearing up with better gear so I was thinking like this time I'm not playing any games. I'm going to whip out the blowpipe and we're going to kill this Aspori boss this time. So I just buy some mithril darts and Zoro scales so I can charge the blowpipe. I don't normally try to use the blowpipe that often because it is kind of expensive to buy Zoro scales. But sometimes I do use them for slayer tasks. But... I think this is the first time I died not using a blowpipe. Usually I do use a rune crossbow, but I guess I just didn't have enough food or the potion so I just was not well prepared. You don't need a blowpipe to beat this spory. Just try to become prepared for this moment. And instead of getting lobsters, for some reason I decided to get baked potatoes. But what I really meant to buy were tuna potatoes so I just realized that after the fact. I remember watching a YouTube video of someone using tuna potatoes because they heal 22 HP so I was like oh my god I'm definitely gonna try that and I bought regular potatoes and they only heal 4 HP like what was I thinking? I'm already starting off bad so don't mind me buying these potatoes but yeah anyways you also want to make sure you have a prayer potion. Um, I'm going to get a ranging potion because I am using range. And also a super anti-poison potion. That is going to be very important. In my previous video, I used the regular anti-poison potion. And the effects do not last that long. And I did end up getting poisoned twice. So you're better off getting the super anti-poison potion. And it's pretty cheap. But yeah, right now I don't have my gear with me because I died. So after I buy the stuff from the GE, I'm going to teleport back to the farming guild and retrieve my stuff. So if you have died killing this warrior, don't worry. Like you can still get your stuff back. Just make sure you got some money so you can pay the dude who will give you your stuff back. All right, now that I have everything, I'm gonna use my skills necklace and I'm gonna teleport to the farming guild. Also make sure you don't have that much in your inventory and you bring your cash stack. That way you have space for all of your items and you can pay for it. I ended up paying 25,000 GP to retrieve all of my stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put on all of my gear and then I'm just going to have my potions in my inventory, my food, the shovel, and the hispori seed. Okay, so I'm back at it again. Round two, you want to um, click on your ranging potion if you're going to do range. Click on your poison potion and start praying range or mage depending on your armor. But anyways, this time the Hispori is going to die pretty quick because I am using a blowpipe this time. And even though I bought potatoes, um, I don't even end up using that much. So this time it was a success, basically. It's all a learning experience, so don't worry if you mess up. You live and you learn. Just how I learned not to buy baked potatoes next time because it barely helped me. Well, I'm about to finish killing the Hispori boss and you're not gonna believe the type of prize I'm about to receive. Like, it's crazy. I'm telling you, this has been the luckiest prize ever. So, once you kill the Hispori, it's gonna like freeze up and then all you have to do is click on it and dig it up. So at that moment is when you receive your prize. You'll see it in your inventory and you'll also see it in the game chat. So do you see what I see? A bottomless bucket. I was so freaking happy to receive that prize. Like I remember that used to be worth like a million but 870k is still pretty decent. 
I was debating on if I should sell it or not, but you know what, like, I'm good with money right now, and I really need this bottomless bucket, like, I've been wanting it for such a long time, and it's kind of, like, too lazy to buy it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be leaving some other links down below in the description on my other money making videos. And thanks for watching guys. Bye, see you next time.